Hi there. Now, in this question, we're asked to give two reasons to justify the use of statistical models. So I'll give you a moment just to think about this, and uh, when you're ready, come back and check your answers with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So there's four suggestions I'm going to put up here. Any two would do. The first one would be that it's used to simplify or represent a real world problem. Or you could have the fact that it's cheaper or quicker or easier than working with the real situation or more easily modified. Another suggestion is to improve understanding of the real world problem. And finally, it's used to predict outcomes from a real world problem. OK, so as I say, any two of these would do. Now, in part B, we're told that it has been suggested that there are seven stages involved in creating a statistical model. And they are summarised below, with stages 3, 4 and 7 missing. And what we've got to do is write down the missing stages. OK, well, I'll give you a moment just to pause the video. OK, welcome back then. So we've got stage one then is the recognition of a real world problem. And in stage two, a statistical model is devised. So for stage three and stage four, well, you can have these either way round. For stage three or four, you could have a model is used to make predictions. And then for step four or three, you have experimental data that is collected. And then for stage five, we've got comparisons are made against the devised model. And stage six, statistical concepts are used to test how well the model describes the real world problem. So finally, for stage seven, we've got here that the model is refined. OK, so I hope you've been able to follow that. And that brings us to the end of this question.